Somebody should have called A-Ray to come and take this What's up with it, y'all? It's your boy OT. And Miss Dorothy. And you are now tuned into. Ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. Like, subscribe, and follow wherever you get your podcast from. That's right, Otis. Whatever you say, Otis, y'all ain't stupid. They come and see me. y'all missed us because we missed y'all yeah. but let me pop it off like i always do words to live by slash motivational quote of the day is sometimes it's okay to take a hiatus you know as long as you don't stay in that hiatus you know you got to step back you got to recalibrate and you have to refocus and there's nothing wrong with refocusing as long as you come out better than you left miss dorothy how you feel about that I agree. I agree. Now, of course, you don't want to take one for too long. True, true. But I feel like we've been gone for just the right amount of time. Yeah, yeah. For our fans to miss us. Yeah, just enough for yeah. them to miss us, but not enough for, hopefully not, for them to leave us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. If not, yeah. I look forward to seeing y'all come back. Yep. So that has been your words to live by slash quote of the day. So here we go. right they coming to see Dorothy man it's it's been too long (laughs) true right or wrong I ain't trying to be on my little Wayne but it feels good to be back and it feels good to be you know in the presence of good company you know what I'm saying so we did take a while but we are back um season four here we are visuals here we are no time to turn back but um I will explain from, you know, my state of my point of view, and then you can explain from your point of view. Cool. Like, you know, we did take a, a little little break, longer than expected, but um, it was a recalibrating thing for me. Birthday. <laughs> it um, was a whole situation. Yeah, been training my nephew. I tell, tell, tell y'all about that for track. Um, just been really enjoying life and got a new car. Did not want to get a new car, but got a new car, you know. It snaps is clean. Me. Yes, it is. Um, yeah, man, like, it's just, like, when we dropped that last episode on, you know, for season three, it was a bittersweet moment because I knew we would be where we are now, like, to where we have visuals, we're doing this, and we got to be down packed with it. So, for me, basically... I enjoyed that time off, but I'm not going to lie to you. I kept thinking, like, I hope our fans don't think we just up and left and up and quit. Like, I, I don't want them thinking that we don't. Because my, my boy Brandon from work, shout out to Brandon, he hit me up every day, and he was like, hey, Otis, like, man, you're going to lose them. I'm like, huh? He said, man, I listened to all the episodes. Where, where you at, man? I'm like, hey, I said, man, give me some time. And every time, every day he would see me, he would, he would mention it. So here we are, here we're back. I did mention, um, let me talk about my birthday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Dorothy, I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart for opening up your doors to me. I will honestly say I think, no, it was the best birthday party I, has, I have ever had. Good food, good friends, good memories, all that. Aww. So, like, I seriously, that. appreciate I it. Um, I bought my 34th in with a bang. It ended with a bang, and it was it was it was very, it was very, what can I say? It was very like eye opening because I had the people that I love the most around me, and for me, that's all I need on my birthday. I don't need presents. I don't need money. I just want to be in good company. Yeah, and eat good food. Which, hey, and that out, food was good. <laughs> shout out to my brother Daniel. Oh, oh. Wings, dirty rice, and macaroni. That's what we had, and. Lots of liquor. On point. And water the next day. But yeah, um, I did I enjoyed myself. I really did. 
had fun. The people that I love the most was around. So I cannot, I have no complaints and I'm looking forward to what this year brings for me. And I'm looking forward to, you know, just, I'm looking forward to this season. Yeah. Because we have a lot of good, good up and coming things. So, you know. Yeah, seriously. And, and going to the birthday, one more shout out. Shout out to my neighbor. Oh, yes. <laughs> Your neighbor is cool. Miss Michelle. She let me park in the driveway and everything. Hey, she came and knocked. Ding dong. Well, she knocked and knocked. Ding dong. Whatever she did. She should have took us some food. I feel bad now. Well, I went and I knocked on the door mm -hmm. and I asked if she wanted some. She was like, no, I'm stuffed. Me and my girl, her homegirl, they mm -hmm. went and had some food. So she was okay. fine. But I did ask her. Yeah. But yeah, that was. She was, she was a, a good sport because at the end of the day, like, you know, I know we got a little light out there. We were outside. We were inside. And, you know. Some some neighbors aren't that friendly. So yeah, shout out shout out to Miss Michelle. Yeah, yeah. So shout out to Michelle. Her. But no, it was mm -hmm. a cool I, I enjoyed hosting mm -hmm. your birthday or having your birthday at the house. Avery was technically the host. Well he was supposed to be the host. I remember us talking about that. Hostess with Moses. <laughs> and shout out to my bartender, Cynthia Black. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah. Bow, bow, bow. And double shout out to your brother again, Daniel. Yes. The food was amazing. I'm still thinking about that. But uh, what? what oh, what and are, April's um shish kebabs. Oh yes, that that steak, that squash, all that. Yes, we had good food. We did. <laughs> it was just an all around good time. It was such a good vibe. I'm so glad you enjoyed your birthday. Yeah. You deserved it. Thank you. You thank really you. did. You really did. So uh, what are some things that you were up to? It you know while we've been been away in our absence. Yeah. I Oh, uh, well, you know, my daughter, she graduated first grade. Shout out to Mir Mir. Yeah, shout out. Hey, girl. Now she's at her dad's house for the summer, so. The whole summer? The whole summer. Well, she said she said two weeks. Mom be gone for two weeks, but it's past two so weeks. So is it a hot girl summer for you? It's a half hot girl summer. It's okay, slight okay. It's hot girl It's a slight, it's a warm. A warm summer. Yeah, it's a warm summer. It's not even summer yet, but it's hot as shit. In Texas, just it let y'all know. It's I'm gonna have fun outside, but I ain't outside. Okay, okay, you all know. right, all right. Yes, but um, so she's gone for the summertime. Um, other than that, just really work. Let's see, I went to that boat party Memorial Day with the I Hangover seen that. crew. Yeah, okay. Talk about it. <laughs> that was that was so much fun. I'm still a little hoarse from that weekend. Yeah, I don't know how because it's been. Like, Where were y'all? We were on um, Lake Travis. Austin? Yes. Okay, Austin. Austin. Austin, Texas. And um, actually, on that boat party, I actually cut my hand. So, you know, I had my stitches on this finger from, how did I do this? I'm always getting hurt. You are. You oh. either have a bruise or, yeah. Yeah, because I got this one. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, you know, I'm, it's just, it's never a Dorothy day. It's never a fun moment for me unless I'm coming back with an injury of some <laughs> sort. I can never go to my full potential without it. Yeah. But, um, so this was from my walk when I had my little finger cast on. So not this hand, but this was from the boat party. I went scaling the boat on the opposite side of the stairs because it was a party boat. Yeah. So it's like a two-tiered one. The stairs was on the opposite side where, like, the slide goes down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But one of my friends, he was on the opposite side. He got pushed into the water. So I went to go try to be a helping hand, go get yeah, his yeah. stuff. You can swim, right? Yes. Okay. I am an avid swimmer. I can swim, but I only can swim good enough to save myself. So if you're drowning and you're looking at me, I'm going to look at you. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. But at least you can save yourself. Yes. So kudos to you. Pew. And uh, so I went to go help retrieve his items, and I was scaling the boat, and there was, like, the metal, like. Mm -hmm. On the ladder? No, because the ladder was on that side. I'm on this side. And so all I have to grip onto is the boat itself. Oh. So there's the metal part, and I just, like, sliced it just smooth open. Did you cry? No. <laughs> I got to be a thug, you know. There was all those people around, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. I got to still get to the goal. Was there a first aid kit? There was. Okay, good, good. There, there was no antiseptics, whatever, whatever, oh, but there was yeah. alcohol. <laughs> we did utilize it right. for my wound and for our recreational purposes. So could he swim? Because you had to go retrieve him. He could. Well, I went to retrieve his items that okay. were floating away on the lake. Oh. But he can swim enough, but, you know, when not. Yeah. I'm an avid swimmer. Okay. And I don't want to... Talk down nobody swim. He could swim. 
Two John but I can swim you can really swim, well. You can swim because I can't. I'm like, I might as well have been a lifeguard. I think I might have been a shark in my past life or something, to be honest. <laughs> or maybe it's my other side yeah. of me coming out, but, you know. But <laughs> aside from that, no, it was just cool. So, you know, Mir Mir graduating first grade, going to her dad's house, the boat party, your birthday. That was just a whole fun <laughs> night. There were so many memories, which we talked about. So many. <laughs> uh, and just, yeah, just really relaxing. Okay. We, we did take a quite a bit of a break, but we didn't need it. Yeah. But I miss being around y'all. Of course, I good, mean, good vibes. We've seen each other outside of this, but not as much as we were seeing each other every week. Yeah, we being going. consistent with what we were doing. Yeah. Well, for me, uh, yeah, birthday, we didn't talk about it, but I actually been training my nephew. He, he, he went up to his dad and was like, hey, I want to run track. And, you know, my brother was like, and he kind of like shoved him out because my, my nephew is a gamer. He's in the room. He doesn't he doesn't really go outside. So when he when he told his daddy he wanted to run, he's that like, oh, okay. So uh he went to his mom's house and you know, they had a conversation. He said, Hey, did did Nehemiah tell you he wanted to run track? He's like, Yes. So when he got back to his dad's house, he told him again, he's like, Okay, well, shoot. So my brother hit me up and he's like, Hey man, I need you to train train up my boy. I'm like, I got you, cause you know, but I told um my brother, don't be so nervous, cause you know, it was funny because my brother was he, he was he's he's that dad like he he has three kids but his son is the the oldest of all his three kids and so I had to show him I said bro you got to understand like we grew up and we had to figure it out but here he has us to kind of coach him and tell him what to do so right um, he runs the four hundred and eight hundred he 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 he's gonna be really good and I know he is it's just it's building his confidence up. Cause you know you ain't never he's never ran track before. Aww. Now he played basketball, little league. He played flag football. Um, so he he really took a hiatus from sports. Like that was when he was like five and six. Gotcha. So he's uh twelve now. Okay. Now he got his first ever race. He got eighth in the eight hundred, which it wasn't dead last. But I was proud of him because a lot of them kids quit out there. It was hot out there. It was a week ago. And then he backdoored and got third in the 400. So that lets me know, okay, you're probably a 400 runner because I know that two times around that track can can be killer. Because I was going to – I told my brother he should run the mile, but his daddy, you know, his dad knew best. He's like, mm, you, nah, bro. He said, I'm going to give him to run 800 and 400 because he, he probably be dead after that. I was like, yeah. So um, he, ran, he ran again today, and he got – sixth overall in the 800 but he was running against um uh, 15 and up oh wow so i was like hmm. okay and and then he got uh fourth in in the 400 and i don't know if he was running with the older kids or he was running with kids his age but i wasn't able to make because i was at work of course but i'm proud of him so we we're back to training monday that, yeah that's what we're doing so other than that um that's awesome though my faithful car Broke down on me, and you know, I was sad because I love I, I love my little cruise. Shout out to him, you. Know, I'm, I'm gonna try to get I'm gonna try to get her fixed. I'm gonna try to get her fixed. But uh, oh, you the, still have her. Yes. Okay, that's I good. I still have her. Um, it's a blown gasket. Now I my uh, A Ray knows somebody who can possibly fix it, and Trey said he knows somebody who can possibly fix. It. So we we gonna shop around and see what the price is right. But I thought like, man, nah, that's my first ever car that you know i got and purchased so i don't really i didn't want to trade it in for my new baby and i i, I love my new baby i ain't gonna lie to you. i got me a volkswagen hey, that thing <laughs> open the door the emblem shine on the ground yeah. i ain't seen that on no volkswagen before <laughs> i was like oh you know you want to know what my favorite part about my car is and people's like what it's my windows so when i open my door the window will like it'll adjust it'll go down slightly Okay. And if I close it, it'll roll up. So I don't I don't know what how to the to correct terminology, but it's just like if I open it, it's like, mm, and then I close the door, and <laughs> you'll see it. You'll see it down, and it'll just shoot up. I'm like, oh, that shit is cool. Almost like whenever you have like one of those, whenever like the hood goes back, yes, and yeah, like yeah. how it comes down a little bit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So um, my trunk is probably my second favorite part of it. Because it's heavy and it's like it doesn't just pop like you really have to open it and you have to slam it down. It's like I feel like my car is mostly metal, but yeah, I have a Volkswagen Art 
I cannot pronounce the full name, so we're going to say Art. So if you know, it's a 20, I got a 2022, yeah. Shout out to me for having a little, little good credit. Um, I told my homeboy, because I actually purchased it from uh, a college friend who I went to college with. We met, he's from Jamaica. He was supposed to be at the party, but he didn't show up. Okay. Um, he works like long nights, but um, he, he was like, yeah, bro, come, come up to Temple. I got you, Temple, Texas. And I'm just, you know, I went with Trey. And Trey was like, hey, yeah. how, how you like this car? So shout out to Trey because Trey kind of okay, persuaded me to that car. But when I op- like when my homeboy opened the car and I looked in, I said, oh, yeah, got some leather seats. I don't have cooling seats. I have heating seats. And leather is hot in the fucking summer. Let me just tell you. Especially that. in Texas. Ooh, boy, I got in that car today. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> I need to rethink this shit. <laughs> so Start but, uh, sizzling. <laughs> So I was like, that's when I said, I miss my cruise because, you know, I had fabric seats. I'm like, yeah. I ain't got to deal with that. But um, overall, I'm happy about my purchase. I don't make my first payment until the 14th of July, which is after the 4th and all that. So I got time to save. That's good. But um, overall, I am happy. I was sad at first because I'm just like, damn, another car payment. But um, Austin... Hey, Ray told me, look at it like this. Like, you know, you still have your other car. You just, it just needs to be fixed. But now you have something to, now you have a highway car, as he, as he calls it. Like, I'm like, yeah, exactly. You know, now you got something to get you up the highway, down the highway, like wherever you need to go. Exactly. So, um, some interesting things like have happened. And my credit, my credit shot up. So, right. yeah, your boy had, your boy had a seven. Oh, A right. seven plus. Yeah. They, they, they get it right. They get it right. <laughs> A seven plus, and I'm like, I looked at that, and I'm just like, man, like, it feels good, but I ain't gonna lie, it was a bittersweet moment because I really love my car, and I'm just like, okay, I had just paid it off like a year and a half ago, and I'm like, if I don't have to get another car, I'm gonna be good because then I can save, but it's okay because my payments they're high, but I I can pay them, so I did give me something I could afford. Exactly. Okay, know? and that's that's great. And at the end of the day. If you don't just love your payments, although you can afford them, you can always refinance down the road. Yep. And I'm going to refinance through my bank. Shout out to educators. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, that's good. Everything happens for a reason, though. And True. just like Austin said, now you got a, now you got a highway car. Mm-hmm. So that's good. And you still got your baby. You still got your first baby. So Yeah, she be running hot, though. I, I, I go out there and crank it up. And they be like, mm, and then, like, I have a... I call it a defense mechanism in in the cruise. Basically, my it's a fan that comes on that cools down the uh, the radiator, even though that shit ain't working now. And when I cut my car off, you can just hear the fan. Mm, I'm just like, yeah, I'm gonna stop cutting you on because you know what that motherfucker just blow up out the blue. Then I'm gonna be like, fuck, bro. Like, I probably should have just you know took it to get fixed before I keep cranking it up. But overall, I'm happy with my new purchase. Yeah, um, right where I need to be. Uh, I got another raise in my job too. Yeah, yeah. So, blessing, blessing, yeah, it's just like it's like I thought I was make. I thought I was like, man, I'm about to come out of pocket, this and that. So I didn't have to pay nothing down on it because I didn't trade my car in. I was like, I'll take the high payment because I didn't want to. I I just didn't want to trade my car in. Mm-hmm. And I actually like a Ray. He like, hey, you mean hold on before you trade it in? I might know somebody. So that was a good feeling. But overall. um, Car birthday, like I've been enjoying this summer, and I, I, I have no complaints. That's so I have amazing. No complaints. That's amazing. It's been a good break. Yeah, overall. But I just, you know, I'm I'm ready to really get back in the swing of things because I sent you the lineup. Like you know, we 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 brainstormed this together. I I I really can't wait for certain episodes. Like you know, what I'm saying this is us coming back. This is our first time filming, but. You know, shout out to the fans for staying with us because I will say, I know, uh, I don't know if you got the emails. Well, you do get the emails and it shows you like who's been listening. Like we still mm-hmm. got people listening, yeah, which, which makes me happy. And I used to, uh, I showed Trey one day, I said, man, you know, what makes me happy is the fact that we've been gone, but it's like, we still got people listening. Like, and it, it's probably, it's probably new listeners because I know if, if everybody, if our fans are up to date with the show, then, you know, they, they've been waiting. Yes. But the new people are like, oh, so um, my homeboy Mike, the one that came to the party, he started from season one. Okay. And he's, I think he's on season two right now with with us. He was like, he said, I enjoyed um, 
He said, I, en- I really enjoy season one. I said, that was just the coming out because I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Like, I'm like, and then, like, when you, and then he said, like, get now, he's on season two with you. He said, y'all just, everybody say, we, he said, y'all just mesh so well, uh, well together. I'm like, yeah. yeah. I like, it seemed like we just been friends for forever, but I right. feel like season two is when we really got close. Yeah. And then season three is when we like, okay, we got this. Mm-hmm. And bam, here we are. And season, here we season are. four. So, like a family. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I if love it. You're though. locked in. Ain't no switching up. Period. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know. No, but to the fans, we are still <clears throat> here. I know that we've had quite a few people like, where y'all at? Um, are y'all live? What's going on? Y'all still recording? Y'all still doing the podcast? <laughs> yes, we're here. We just need a little break. Now we're on YouTube, and now you can go watch us, and you can see our facial expression. You can see how we talking, and you can see us. Like, I feel like we're giving y'all more of us now. Yeah. So, you know, now y'all can comment, like, and subscribe, <laughs> and follow wherever you get your podcast from. But you can really follow us now, and... I'm just I'm just excited. Like I'm excited for this upcoming season. Me too. I'm excited for this year because even though it's we're six months in, mm-hmm. which is crazy. So we got six months left. <laughs> but watch how fast that six months. Watch how fast December get here, and then we're gonna be. I'm not ready. I need to make some more money before December gets here. I hear you on that. I hear you on that. Yeah. Which but how, how is work going for you? Work has been good. Um. Still pushing, still okay. got some things, got some big things coming with my job. Okay. Um, it has, we have been a little bit delayed as far as like money goes right now. The money is coming. The money is there. But with the industry that I'm in, um, when the rain is here, which we all know this year of rain. Has been crazy. Has been crazy. I mean, Aside from Texas, mm-hmm. the weather has been insane. A couple tornadoes. Yeah. <laughs> Toe shit up. Just a couple. Just a couple. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, even in Maryland, they had a tornado. Oh, for real? Yeah, they had a tornado. Which I think the government is uh, controlling know, the weather. The government, government yeah. is in that weather mm-hmm. machine. Um, it's just been a lot. <clears> like, <throat> one of my coworkers was saying how, because we're in June now, for the month of May, we got... Like fifteen point, what was it, two nine, eight nine, some mm-hmm. inches of rain, and or fifteen point two nine. Now we're like fifteen point eight nine, probably more than that. We're supposed to get more rain, and we're just now coming into June. That's exactly. more rain in these two months for twenty twenty four than allegedly we got in twenty twenty three altogether. Damn. So in the industry that I work in, rain is bad because when it's raining Nobody's and it's coming. wet. We can't move any houses. We can't install yeah. any septics. We can't put any conk we can't move our trucks up there it's gonna sink so you know i need the i need the rain to stop just a little bit so i can get paid but (laughs) it's coming and i got some things working just with myself with my job which you know that'll be later to come okay i'll talk to y'all about it you know you don't want to tell too many people about it because then your blessings start getting blocked yeah amen but you know there's haters out there (laughs) yeah they're always out here but my god is bigger than that amen amen But uh, overall, like, what um, what are you looking forward to from this season? And like, not as far as topic wise. Like, I guess I would ask you, how are you looking to grow? And you know what? I was yeah. gonna say the biggest thing that I look forward to this season is growth. Okay. Like, not only do I feel like it's just gonna be so much better because in a day and age, you know, like social media, which I know before I've mm-hmm. said I'm not big with so- on social media and not. <laughs> I don't know, I'm still not. Well, you about but to be. On, about to be you're on. on social you media. about to be on social media. Social media. <laughs> but we're all uh, majority of us like me. I'm a. I gotta see it and hear it. And now we're okay. we're being seen and heard. Yeah. It's not just being heard. So it's it's gonna be bigger. Are you nervous? Yeah. Are you? <laughs> I am, but I'm not because I. You know, people have been asking me like friends, family, like, oh, do you do visuals? Well, not yet. And. I was trying to tell them like it takes time because you know I thought I thought we were ready season two, but then I I really seen okay now nah, we wasn't ready like and then season three I'm like I think we're ready and I and we still weren't but you know if you don't never hop off the porch how will you know so Thanks. you know here we are hopping off the porch and I feel really confident about this because now I kind of know I I know what I'm getting myself into because you know. This is the recording. 
It's not it's not live, but that's where I want to eventually get to where we right. do live sessions. So where, you know, we kind of have a little audience. Like, you know, have, like, because we're going to be different places. We're not just going to be right here. Yeah. Um, tell you about the rooftop bar. And yeah. we possibly could shoot one up there and That's then nice. be, like, recording, like, not uh, interviewing people as they come up. Like, you know, what brought you out tonight? This and that. Woo-woo. So I'm excited to, that, that, I think that will be our next level, being, shooting a live podcast and streaming it. Same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there are people excited, like even Sybil, my sister. Well, my shout sister, out to her. Shout out to Sybil. She's excited, like, oh, y'all are doing visuals and audios now. I can't yeah. wait to show y'all's clips, look at them, et cetera, et cetera. But that rooftop <clears> bar, <throat> and shout out to you and Kessa for taking me there. Because yeah, yeah. that was fun. That was cool. Because, um, well, I say shout out to Trey, because Trey is the one who invited me Trey. Um, out there. And I'm just like, what? I was like, what is Herringbone? Hey, that sounds like I know I hadn't heard the name before because it's off of uh, something. I'm about to say Wishbone, but it's not. And I'm just like, bro. So I'm walking up these steps, walking up the steps. It's a whole hotel. And I heard the whole, and you know, we passed by the bottom part. They have a restaurant too. So I'm like, I kind of want to check that out. But um, it overlooks downtown Waco, Texas. Shout out to us. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I love, I loved every, like the whole view. Cause you know, we sat there and we went to both sides. <laughs> like we were some little kids, like, look at this, look at that. Like we'd never seen downtown before, but when you're up high, you could, and you see everything just like, uh, when we were on top of this building mm-hmm. and seeing everything and the Alico was right there. It's just, it gives you a good feeling like, man, like I'm moving up in the world type stuff, you know? So. It's- yeah, yeah, it's just like it is. It puts everything into perspective. So I all all I want to do is just continue to grow, uh, continue to grow our audience, give the people what they want. Like some, and I will say for this season coming up, like you know, well this season, a lot of those topics I either got from friends or I got from looking at somebody or I got from an argument I had on Facebook. <laughs> Shout out to Shakayla, she gonna be pissed at me, but anyway, I don't care. Um, we're going fun. Yeah, like I can't. W- I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm just gonna keep talking about that episode. But I ain't gonna. I'm gonna get. I'm, y'all gonna be like, what is he talking about? We got when some we, good things coming. But when we get to that episode, oh man, because we was going back and forth on fa- the crazy part about it is when we were talking, we were in each other inbox and we were commenting. She was like, oh, I didn't see you comment. I'm about to go comment. Then it's like she'll write a comment and then I'll write it in her inbox. Oh, I seen her comment. So she writing me in my inbox while I'm responding to her. And we was going back and forth, but I'm gonna I have told, to get a referee whistle. Yeah, yeah. I, you might have to. Cause she's like, don't cuss me out. And I told her, I said, hey, listen here. My podcast is, I ain't gonna say it ain't church friendly, but to the church folks who listen, thank y'all. But I do cuss and I don't be trying to cuss a lot, but you know, I'm gonna try to do better. But she was like, don't be cussing me out. Like, I ain't going to cuss you out. But if you say some dumb shit, then I'm going to be like, listen here. That, dumb, that shit is dumb. It don't make sense because she be trying to justify you are shit. Blunt, you will say. Yeah. And she was like, so now she can't say, oh, you're talking about how I'm back. No, I'm talking out loud to the world, to the fans. Shout out to y'all. But yes, I like, um, shoot, the next episode that we shoot, the bedroom boom. Yes, bedroom boom. Clickbait. <laughs> Hey, and that's one that I really, I really want people's feedback on because yeah. you know they may not feel like I feel or like you feel on that on that topic because, shoot, that bedroom is it's a sacred place and that's where we are gonna leave it at because you know I don't want to give I don't want to give them too much in inside of yeah 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 but we have like we have material that I feel like everybody will they're gonna tune in and then with uh, your boy coming on from five what's his name. Um, hangover. Hangover. Dante. Dante, yeah. <laughs> Dante. You you up. Yeah. You up in a few episodes, about four of them. And I, and I, I like Dante because I remember when he met, he's like, yeah, man. It's like I love people when they're excited to come on. Like I don't want nobody to come on here and feel as if they're um, they're a guest. No, you're at home. Like I, like I say, I want to make this podcast your podcast. Basically, if you're invited on here, that episode is dedicated to you. Yeah. You can say what you want. Like, you know, you have the floor as much as you want because we're not that type of podcast. Right. To where, yeah, oh, they never yeah. Been. And he's good people. Yes, he is. And for that episode, oh, it, he's going to be funny. I just know it. <laughs> he don't even know what he's getting himself into. <laughs> hey, does he know we're doing visuals now? 
Yes, yes, he does. Yes, he does. And I did tell him that um, we so he are can hit his alcohol dance. friendly. He can hit his dance. Yeah, he got to hit his dance. <laughs> I almost started doing it. Yeah, we're gonna save it because y'all just gotta see it. For the for those of you that know Dante, you know, and for y'all across seas, overseas, wherever you at, and don't know Dante, you're gonna get to know him. He is he is a pleasure to be around. He's good company, and, and he's that, viral on TikTok. Yes, he is. He is viral on TikTok. He, he is multiple times. Which is crazy. Yes, yes. So, yeah. so um, any anything else you got? Like you know, I'm just I'm just so happy that we're back. I'm happy that we're here. Like we talked about earlier, like season two, thought mm-hmm. we were ready for visuals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember there was at one point where Avery was like, "Y'all suck." Yes, he said it, and yes. we needed that. We didn't take it offensively. It was just like, okay, needed that. How can we get better? <laughs> Like, dang, I need that. Like, you know, I, I need to hear I suck because I thought I went hard. I'm like, yeah. Like, y'all thought y'all was good? Back to the drawing board. Bah! Yeah. That's what it is. But sometimes, like, you know, you need to be knocked down to understand. But I, I wish some people would realize he wasn't saying it like, oh, y'all are trash, y'all are garbage, nobody wants to listen to y'all. He's just like, hey, you, y'all you think y'all ready for something, but y'all not until you actually step out there and do it. So, Constructive criticism is needed, and sometimes people need to be open to constructive criticism, and that's what I said. So my, I, I um, he actually asked me. He said, "So what is what are you looking forward to for your thirty fourth birthday?" I said, "I'm gonna dedicate this year Free to the phone. year of listening." Before I actually respond, let me calibrate in my head. Okay, fences. We just take him telling us we suck. Why do we suck? What what is he saying we suck on? Like, don't just, oh, he's saying we suck, so I'm just going to give up. Oh, he and be mad. No, like, l- listen to his reasoning. Because sometimes we as human beings, we don't li- we don't listen to understand. We listen to argue and rebuttal. And respond. Yes, and respond. Yes. And so it's just like, oh, he said I suck, so I'm, I'm just going to stop it all together. But no, it, it took him saying that to like, okay, let us dig deeper. Like, what what can we do? To not suck. And it's not somebody just talking trash. Because, you know, there are haters out there that just, be, yeah. that just be talking mess. There are some haters out there that do be saying some truth and some stuff. True. But, no, he cares. He genuinely cares. So, it's like, what do we what do we need to do to get better? So, shout out to Avery. Here we are. Because he yeah, really yeah. let us do this right now. I know, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> but, yes, man. So, he was like, you know. And then just keeping him in the loop is one thing. Because, you know, um, I'm just going to speak on it. A lot of people feel like, oh, he he's he's rude. He don't understand. But it's just like, how can he understand something that you you know in your head that you're thinking, but you don't want to tell him everything? Like the one thing about it is, is he's taking his time out of his busy schedule, his cameras, his mics, his audience. So yes, like I'm I'm glad he's my cousin, but it's just like, dang, at the end of the day, he still got a life to live. He mm-hmm. still got bills to pay. He still has all this. So. What are you bringing to his table to not waste his time? Because that's what I told him. The biggest thing is I don't want to waste your time. But he said as long as you continue to show up, produce, you're not wasting my time. It's when you, oh, can I reschedule? Like a lot of people do. Or it's it, I, we said 730 and then here we are at 10 o'clock. And he like, hell no, I'm not shooting that shit. Y'all right. had y'all time. This Y'all told me this time. And I think or that's. You ain't remind me. Why the hell should he have to remind you to do something that you're trying to strive for? And see, that's why um, I asked multiple people. I said about podcasts, I'm like, how serious are you about it? And, you know, some people got upset. But I was just like, okay, if you're serious about this, you got to take his time serious. Because he doesn't have to do this. He could be like, okay. or And then it's all the things he does behind the scene, the, the camera angles, the editing, this and that. So aside from his day to day life, his normal, yes, his, his norm, his normal nine to five. So it's just like he's trying to set us up for success. So anybody who don't really know him, I'm trying to tell you, like, if you tell him your plan and you keep him in the loop, then I guarantee you, like, they they would know. Okay, he has my best interest at heart. Cause mm-hmm. yeah, like he always say, either get it done or make it happen. I probably said it wrong, but. You know, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, shout out to him and everything he do Always. because without Always. him, there is no us. Without us, there is no him because then we'd just be, like he said, sitting here looking out his window. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, man, dog. He's like, 
we ain't recording, we ain't doing this, but <laughs> we were we were doing stuff because you know we still got the uh, the media team. Shout yeah. out to all the skits because we have some skits coming out, and that's what he's yes, been working on. So people don't understand like he doesn't just be sitting on his ass like he's shooting podcasts, and after he's been shooting podcasts, I don't like I said I don't think he sleeps. It's like people think he just be sitting there with his phone in his hand. Yeah, just waiting. Let me see what let me see what's gonna happen next. Oh. No, he really is like. Editing, editing, editing on the phone with our homeboy Jarmel, getting good feedback. They, they, they're like Goku and Vegeta. If you know, if you know, uh, Dragon Ball Z terms. I don't know who's who, but I know right now they probably on the same level. But I would say Austin is Goku. He's Vegeta. Sometimes Austin could be Vegeta. He could be Goku. But the thing is, they're iron. Shopping's iron. They don't, they don't hate on each other. They shoot. They bounce ideas off each other. And but the funniest thing be when <laughs> he'll show me something Jamel did. <laughs> he was like, "Man, he added Mario to this beat," <laughs> and it, it was a key star clip. And I ain't gonna lie to you, it it, it was fire. Okay, so okay. It, it just made it makes him like he got a person that makes him go harder. Yeah. Instead of it's good to have yeah. somebody like that. Yeah. And that I ain't gonna lie to you. So if y'all see this video clip, uh, podcasters, I want somebody to make us go harder. Like you know what I'm saying because. I'm going to keep saying it. Shout out to Shakayla. They have a good product. They do. But the consistency isn't there. But like I said, um, they have the potential to be the number one podcast in, in, the, in, in the media group. But mm-hmm. until, you, until they sit down, calibrate it, think it out, basically, but if that they ain't going to do it, we going to do it. Oh, yeah. We're going to keep going. So... I'm I'm excited. And I knew that that screen was used for something. Y'all can't see the screen, but I see the dry erase markers right there. You want to write on that, that board so bad. I do. I'm going to do it. So it is. So It's an F around and find out board. We're going to do that. <laughs> okay, I'm done. No, nah, you good. Um, overall, once again, I just want to thank you for hosting my party. Thank you for being my friend. We're more like brother and sister now Here because, you. you know, sometimes blood is not blood is not thicker than mud, and sometimes water is thicker than blood. So, I'm just glad that you're my host once again. I'm glad I'm glad we're here. Same. I'm glad Same. we're 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 doing visuals, so now they can see the the people can see, and I think that that'll, that'll gain us more followers. That'll gain us more status, and everybody will be like, okay, oh, I can now I can see because you know nowadays we live in media, like. People uh, want to see versus hear. Like you know, you hear things all day long. But what are what are what are they giving me? Now mm-hmm. we're giving you visuals yeah. instead. You still can you you can still listen to us audio, but you can go to YouTube and you can see you can see the work in progress. Mm-hmm. And you can see how far we done came. You can go listen to episode. I mean, season one to to now, and you will see. Like I even see because I went back when we were on the hiatus and I listened. That's all I was doing. Like okay, I like ooh. I was trash. You were still working. That's how I was thinking. I was trash. I thought I was doing something. But, it. I mean, at that point in my life, I, I wouldn't say it was trash. It was just I was putting my foot in the door. And then season two, it was like, okay, let me adjust to having a host. And then season three was like, okay, we got this. And bam. Here we, here go, we right? are. Yeah. So. Family. Yes. And then for our fans, our followers, and even people that aren't fans, y'all still want to come on. Y'all yeah. can be a part of it, too. Just know you will be on the camera. So if you come on here, make sure your hair is cut. Make sure your eyelashes on, ladies. All that because you wear them. Um, he, ain't, he, ain't, he ain't editing you to where you look cute. He just gonna, he, he's going to edit it, but don't be out here thinking, uh, why he put? No, why did you come to the podcast looking like that? So make sure you're presentable. NNC, you no excuses, no complaining. Yeah. So, but we're here. So, Glad you know, this is the hiatus, but hey, stay tuned for Bedroom Boom. I guarantee you that is a episode you do not want to miss. So, Miss Dorothy, do you have any closing remarks or statements? I love Q&A? y'all. I'm so glad that we're <laughs> back. So happy. I know, right? So, we promise y'all, we if we stay gone, we're not staying gone forever. We're just trying to revamp and rethink and recalibrate because we don't want to sit there and put out bullshit. You can always get better. Yeah. That's, and that's what I tell my nephew before we go. Um, I'm watching his growth. 
I'm wa- I really watched him grow from this shy young man to he ain't never ran track. Like he got out there, and, and I'm telling you, that first track, I know he wanted to quit. I know he did. I looked in his face. He came out that that uh that track. He was like, <sighs> but he didn't. I said, I said, where it hurt everywhere. He said, yeah, but he got back out there this uh today, and he did his thing. So, and then he ran against older people. So. You can only you can only get better. Like that's the thing. You can only get better. But also, like I told him, I said, and this is just for anybody. You like you know you got to talk to yourself. You got to give yourself a pep talk. And I told him, hey, whatever you do, just don't quit. Because the thing is, shout out to my daddy. No doubt when I was younger, but we didn't have anybody in our corner teaching us how to do it. It was literally me, Austin, Austin's big brother, and us playing on gravel, basketball on gravel. Like we we. We had to figure shit out for ourselves because Austin's brother was the oldest, so he was teaching. We were learning from him. And then Austin and Daniel, basically Austin knew because he had an older brother, and me and Daniel were learning from them. And so the older we got, the better we got because, man, we used to <laughs> we used to uh, just be going to the court. So we used to play in the backyard, and then finally his brother's like, all right, we taking you out to the court. Say what? Hold on, I don't think I'm we like just like now. I don't think I'm ready, but you gotta get ready. You'll never be ready. Yeah. So never. shout Third out to stay everybody. Ready, you ain't gotta get ready. Amen. So we back. We got some bangers for y'all. Thank y'all for staying tuned. Thank y'all for listening. So make sure y'all like, subscribe, and follow wherever you get your podcast from. And we are streaming on YouTube, and you can go watch our faces. Facial expressions in us. Yeah. It's been real. It's your boy OT. And Miss Dorothy. And everybody come to see Miss Dorothy and Otis. <laughs> Thank y'all for tuning in to Ain't Nobody Coming to See You, Otis. Make sure you like, subscribe, and follow wherever you get your podcast from. That's right, Otis. Whatever you say, Otis. It's been real. It's your boy OT. And Miss Dorothy. And we'll see you on the next episode of Ain't Nobody Coming to See You, Otis. Y'all ain't stupid. They coming to see me.